Excuse me. And here you are. My life's work on the verge of ruin, all because of your efforts to find Stockton's supposed daughter. You do know she's most likely a synth, yes? If you are more than a hired gun, perhaps we can stop this before it's too late. Stockton's daughter is a synth? Why else do you think we attacked her caravan? After testing, we have well over a 70% confidence level of our initial diagnosis. I'd have to perform an autopsy, to be sure. I'll give you a fair hearing. How considerate. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? What happened to you? In Diamond City, a lifetime ago, my parents and eight others were massacred by someone. At first, we thought the maniac was human. But that was the day we learned of the Institute's latest creations, the Sin. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? A war? Really? Is it that bad? Hundreds of kidnappings over the years. Ask the survivors if it's really that bad. And there are so many other tragedies that may be their responsibility as well. Who really knows what the Institute is responsible for? And how do they manage to keep us in the dark? A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. 